with you here in just a little bit. Okay, Dylan, sounds good. Thanks, guys. Again, that's WGEM's David Sugarman. He is in Edina, Missouri. Knox County High School has been covering uh, football there tonight. Their game, as he said, at Knox County in a delay because of the weather there under severe thunderstorms. Oh, the football right game. Now. That's like important. Kind of tip of the iceberg, tornado warnings, multiple out there, and we're going to send it back over uh, to the Storm Track weather team with the latest. Jeremy's got the latest. Jeremy? Okay, yeah, let's take a look at what we have right now. This is uh, Keokuk, I believe, right? This is our Keokuk Tower Cam. Yeah, so a, a few seconds ago, you could yeah. actually see uh, the that's not what I want. It looks like it's completely nighttime out there. You see how dark it is? Just torrential downpours right now. Uh, very frequent lighting in the Keokuk area. If we flip over to radar, let's take a look at what we have going on in Keokuk. Right now. Guys, the, the mm -hmm. precipitation rate currently in Keokuk. Yeah, the pre, uh, precip rate right now about eight inches per hour. Now, of course, this is going to be for a few seconds, hopefully over a specific area, but still, we're getting some very torrential downpours right now, and just completely everything out there is going to be completely shrouded in a, a veil of rain, especially back into Lewis County, which is our main focus right now for that tornado warning, which is a very dangerous situation. If you're in Lewis County right now, now you need to be in your basements there. Around <coughs> See, the Lewis County is where I'm at. A little bit farther to the east. If we flip back over to those hail cores we were looking at a few seconds ago, Chelsea, really you can see we have about four discrete centers. See, of here's the issue right now is I really don't have, have anywhere to go. Some distinct hill cores in a southwest to northeast oriented line right now. Stretching that's how from, the storms yeah. are going to continue to track. Mm -hmm. In that, in that uh, manner of fashion, that's yeah. where those storms are going to continue to track. It looks like we have a... Viewer pick right now, Sam Stoner, and we have a hail inch right now, a diameter of hail right now. Give me just a second. An inch and a quarter or so, an inch and a half. It looks like an inch and a half or so, yeah, that is from Edina right now. So we thank, uh, we thank Sam Stoner for that one. And, yeah, you can see these hill areas right now. These are where we're seeing some very large hailstones right now. All these areas are severe warned. And, of course, this one right here, this particular supercell, is where we're concerned about some possible rotation right now. Radar estimating some rotation out there. And if we flip back over to uh, radar, maybe look at some of those uh, velocity scopes, Chelsea, in that one cell yeah. here in particular, we can see what we're uh, looking at as far as the hail goes mm -hmm. real quick also with the hail you can see those purples that's where those hail cores are are those darker reds but um, I just saw someone mention that the the Canton uh, tornado sirens are going off that's okay. because you do have a tornado warning for your area currently not on top of you but it is headed towards Canton so if you're in Canton you do need to be um, taking action at this moment and the Culver Stockton College area all those areas oh, right there on camp. here's our Canton sky cam right our tower cam you can see that we uh, uh, and Audacity those, Galaxy uh, is where you edit what part of the song you want. Maybe a little lower. We're seeing some like uh, scud there kind of coming down from, from those clouds. But what we are really, uh, what you can see here is that there's a lot of lightning going on. Really, you can't see a whole lot. So you don't want to be out there trying to see anything because you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, if there is a tornado on the ground, it's going to be completely rain wrapped at this point. And it is, I mean, we're getting into the uh, oh about 715 right now. So the sun is going down anyway. So it is, things are going to be getting dark out there and definitely not the place you want to be but again this is you don't want to be outside in this location at all this is our Culver Stockton College uh, Canton Tower yeah exactly right oh now. the sun's going down just pretty much non-stop you know continuous cloud to ground lightning occurring with these cells and again very heavy rainfall we have flash flood watches up for the entire uh, tri-states and yeah we are seeing a lot of lighting with these uh, cells here yeah we're the watching state. the weather Beatrice pretty, pretty, right now we're looking at four it's going down distinct cells right now stretching from Knox County all the way up into southeast yeah, Iowa around the Keokuk area and then back up into Hancock County is where we're seeing some pretty intense cells right now and then we have that we will go back to Mario Kart right here in a bit County granted I don't have to leave my house Knox County has been shaved off from that tornado warning but it still continues for Lewis County so if you're in Lewis County you're still under that tornado warning but if you are in Knox County while you're not under a tornado warning, you are still under a severe thunderstorm warning. So you're you're not in the clear just yet. You still have that heavy rain, possibly that half dollar size hail continuing to move through right now. Um, some of that heavy rain near a dyna looks like a dyna is just right outside of that severe thunderstorm warning. But novelty, you also have LaBelle. Looks like LaBelle has also been um, yeah, exactly not know. tornado warning, but still under severe thunderstorm. I gotta be the best at this moment. So. I'm going to get the velocity tool up there for you, Jeremy, and let's see what it looks like um, right now. Um, so we still have, again, I believe 
We're going to go okay. with the, the Davenport one. Sorry, and I just went off Louis again. A little better. Look, there we go on the St. Louis one. Yeah, because you can see. So when we look at when we look you at need this to do dudes. velocity, this is how we really pick out where like the potential tornado is right now. Right in here, we have this is, okay, and the, in each loop we keep getting in, Chelsea, it doesn't mm -hmm. look like it's losing any of its rotation. I mean, we keep seeing scan after scan after scan continue to push off to the east with this little couplet in here. So uh, towards St. Louis radar and then away from St. Louis radar, and that's how we see that rotation in there right now in Lewis County near the Monticello area. It looks like just north of Lewistown, and I'm trying to make out that highway number there. I believe that is, uh, is that? 16. 16, I believe. Yeah. yeah, so 16 there going, if you're in, if you're anywhere in this vicinity or on Highway 16 near Lewistown, pushing into Monticello in Lewis County, this is the location we're concerned about, a possible tornado on the ground, and you can, if we zoom in and try to take a look at some of these other communities, where there's a Monticello, Newcourt Village there, Lewistown just to the north, and, and right in here is where we're concerned about that possible tornado that may be on the ground, and it continues to push off to the east at about a 30 mile per hour clip it is or so. Along 16. so. If we kind of expand the view out a little bit to show some of the communities a little farther towards where it's heading, you can see it's pretty much right heading right toward the Canton area. This possible Canton is where I live. So possible tornado on the ground. That's my town. For Canton, Culver Stockton College, those locations right in there, you want to be taking shelter. And so as of right now, the warning does not extend over into the Illinois side. But as you look yep. out there around, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to hear. Right now, 717 around Benjamin, 731 Canton, 740, Ursa, if this holds together with the rotation pushing over into the Adams County around 759, Minden, yeah. 807, and then Keene around 815. So this continues. This strong. This is very, um, that is a really strong rotation mm -hmm. uh, signature right there showing up on the radar. So something you definitely want to be. Weather and chill. That is weather and chill. Keep tracking this for you. We're going to send things over to Dylan Austin at the news desk, Dylan. And of course, uh, the heightened uh, the the heightened worry tonight is that so many people out and about at high school football games in all three states. Uh, I really the don't area, have anywhere to go, Demetrius. That's the issue right now. High school football coverage up in the city of Macomb, and like I can go to the grocery store, I guess. Into McDonough County, yet looks like they are headed that way eventually. But it sounds like people in Macomb, out there at Macomb High School at the football field, mm -hmm. already taking precaution. What's happening up there? Yeah, hi, Dylan. So here uh, at the football game, it is their homecoming. And, you know, things... things yeah, I think so, cool. Galaxy. I spoke with the athletic director right before the game started, and he was under the impression they were going to get it in. Uh, however, after the first... They were going to get it in. Things started moving in. So we did call a lightning delay here. We have all... Yeah, I can do that, BK. I have a bunker. Room, they do not. Everybody was directed to go... But I'm aware of... Pool. And now um, I'm kind thundering of now. Right now. No rain yet. The athletic director and the if the stream suddenly dies, I will. Uh, that means my power went out. Dark and we're starting to I will hop thunder, into so chat and let everyone know. Are picking up here. Uh, from when I originally got here. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kara, too. I'm sure you can't see the radar right now, but that radar, as I'm looking at it, uh, the people at home seeing it, too, is still a little ways off from uh, hitting Macomb as far as the thunderstorm is concerned. So it looks like once it gets there, as you described, already seeing that lightning off in the distance. So it may be uh, taking cover there for a while as far as the football game goes. Well, I mean, it's better than where I'm at they're right on right now. You said, right, people have moved in. A big concrete point, building. Not sure what uh, they're going to do moving forward. And they have yeah, big yeah. concrete freezers. And, you know, a lot of people are actually and I used to be a manager there, so they'll let me here, uh, with the athletic director. And take right shelter now, there. Um, they're looking to wait it out. Um, a lot of people have the radar up and are kind of uh, watching, you know, what we're telling them. And right now they say we're going to sit here and wait it out. All right, WGM. Being... Okay, WGM's Kara. Yeah, that will maybe flame. Homecoming tonight, Kara, stay safe out there. Thanks so much for joining us. Yep, thanks, Don. All right, and uh, again, Kara up in Macomb tonight, one of the many places uh, about to see some storms roll through. If they're not under the gun now, many will soon be. WGM's uh, Jeremy Ledford, meteorologist Chelsea Smith as well, uh, continue to track the storms for us. Guys, what's the latest over there? Well, just as you were saying, that it's going to start to pick up in Macomb, and that's because it's about 10 miles away of moving into the Macomb area. So she said, uh, Kara did say that she was seeing lightning. Um, so let's put an actual track on um, the one that is near Macomb, since there are people um, at the football game waiting to hear. So let's move this. They've been on average.
barge moving about 30 miles per hour, about the east northeast. Um, so moving into the Macomb area around 745, um, wouldn't be surprised if they see it just a little bit earlier than that. Macomb City also 745, Bushnell 751. Um, you have Young Hickory at 8 um, 812. So again, um, Macomb area for that football game, things you're going to start to see right now, probably not heavy rain, but the rain is going to start Watch to come scared down. Enough. And it's going to come down in the buckets as right. well. So oh, let me too, um, Lily. Let's zoom on out because Jeremy and I were looking at find. the radar while um, Dylan was talking to Karen. We just weren't seeing one area of rotation where we have that tornado warning, but we're seeing a, um, with some of these storms that we're seeing a little farther to the and north. And if they report tornado on the ground, so then I'm out of here. There for you, Jeremy. Yeah, and we, yeah, we are seeing rotation kind of embedded in yeah, I know that's not the safest way to, you know, go about it. Severe thunderstorm warning, so may not be a tornado warning right now. But remember, everybody in the tri-states pretty much is under a tornado watch right now. So conditions favorable for the development of tornadoes. So we have three areas right here that I just want to, you know, stay updated. Outside of as soon as this passes, uh, we'll jump back into Mario Kart. Here that do have some Thank you guys for sticking with me. Areas of rotation back around Carthage. So we're going to be watching this closely. Chelsea, can we go back to that uh, area here in Lewis? County where we do have that tornado warning continuing until 745 because we had a report at 715 so just a few minutes ago at 723 right now three miles northwest of Lewistown emergency management reporting that there was a funnel cloud that it wasn't touching the ground so funnel cloud obviously the precursor to a tornado but that was noted that the funnel cloud was rotating even though it hadn't touched the ground right here so this is where we're concerned about possible tornado could so this was at mm -hmm. 715 when that report came yeah in. that was at 715 so here we backed up the radar here to 715 and then if we just kind of we just kind of creep this one for me. Of time yeah i mean it's a little nerve-wracking because like i said when i was in high school a tornado hit my town seeing this little breakup this isn't breaking up at all this little rotation center here so it is holding oh together. i take them a little more serious so to press off to the east so we're going to we're going to see if this tornado warning is extended past 745 and continues farther to the east i would not be surprised if it is if it is if it isn't extended i'd be a little surprised because that is some a significant rotation we're noting on the radar there and then also given the fact that emergency management's seen uh, a possible funnel or seen a funnel cloud that is uh, rotating that would be even more evidence of that so around the canton area 744 watching out for this possible rotation rotation Meyer if it holds together pushing over into the Illinois side around 745 Lima 806 and then getting into the uh, Tioga area around 812 and then Walker around 817 so these are all some areas we're concerned about possible rotation Can we expand we have this a out? new severe thunderstorm warning for McDonough County so this is where Carol is at mm -hmm. talking about Which is here with um, you high school football then game. Boy. is it home and homecoming so it does include um Macomb. Yes, and thank you guys for sticking with me. Thunderstorm warning. This probably isn't the most exciting content. But, you know. Up to the north yep. still. So but we one, haven't seen some rotation, Chelsea. Yeah, this one continues until 815. 60 mile per hour wind gust and nickel size hail. So not as large as the half dollar size we've been seeing a little bit farther to the south and west. But this is moving to the east at 35 miles per hour. Appreciate Located you guys sticking with me. Near La Harp um, is where the storm that is being warned and is moving. Um, that is eight miles north of Minden. Well, and thanks, baby the areas that are going to be impacted that. include Macomb, Carthage, didn't say period. Bushnell, it's... Colchester, La Harp, Blanensville. Oh, Augusta, yeah, I mean, I'm still so fully erect, BK. Prairie City, Bardolph, West That doesn't Mains, go away Paris, when I'm streaming. Tennessee. You also have West Yeah, Central, I know. Um, um, University, so also Fandon, and also moving into New Phil Philadelphia. So for you, um, um, Jeremy, I'll put a track on this as it's moving to the east at 35 miles per hour. Okay, yeah, this severe thunderstorm warning we're going to track out for you. Uh, one thing I did want to note, I'm looking at our Facebook Live right now because we're on several platforms. A lot of people asking on Facebook Live, is there any threat to Quincy right now? I think because of that tornado warning we're seeing back in Lewis County. Right now, we're not seeing that. We kind of go back down around there. Chelsea's going to mm -hmm. take us back down there. Right now, these storms staying north of the Quincy area, and they continue to move pretty much just straight east. So we're not seeing a threat to Quincy right now. East, northeast. 
northeast a bit. Mm -hmm. Also keep in mind when we looked at our future cast earlier, we didn't really see it start to extend a little bit farther oh, to the south. Oh, because you're a Visco girl, baby foot. Right. This evening. And so I, so we are going to go back and track that Warren storm up, though, in McDonough County here as uh, it continues to press off to the east here. Chelsea's uh, drawing a track on exactly the course to the east around 30, 30 miles per hour or so. So McComb, 7th. This is for severe thunderstorm warnings with damaging winds. Large Apparently it's really bad where Combs, Pixie's at, too, and she's got to drive uh, home. Municipal, like an hour drive. Got to drive it up. Uh, getting into uh, some of those other areas out to the east here, I believe, outside of McDonough County, though, uh, around Cass 806. Uh, getting into the Putnam area around 818 as this uh, severe thunder totally are maybe off to the east. And can we um, go back and just kind of get a broader... I know you got your hydro flask. ...all the worn storms yeah, we have right now I'll, because I'll we do have... That. We do have we do have multiple ongoing warnings right now. We have these severe thunderstorm warnings. We were just showing you up to the north around Macomb, also that tornado warned storm in Lewis uh, Lewis County. So yeah, so we have that severe thunderstorm warning for McDonough County. We have it for Hancock. We have it for Lewis and Knox. That tornado warning for Lewis County and a lot of the areas under a tornado watch until 11 o'clock. So um, some of these storms. We're waiting for Pixie. Well, no, Pixie's uh, way. West of me. But we only have one tornado warning. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying it's not bad for her, but we want you to take all these warnings just as serious I think right now she's uh, mostly because under storms. It's possible with the conditions in the atmosphere of producing a tornado. So, again, um, we don't want you to take these lightheartedly, especially if you are um, listening to us on the radio, maybe trying to wait it out for a football game. Uh, Listen to the officials. Listen to what they're saying. If you need to be going to seek in that I know I'm waiting for a football yeah. game. And you mentioned, yeah, I'm going to so be outside in all this, all waiting, waiting for a football so game. Even the severe right, thunderstorm ones, because even though the, you're not going back out, on their face, out. for instance, that one in Knox County, stay Chelsea, in the tag at the bottom of it says the tornado is possible because a tornado is possible. We are still seeing rotation in these storms. Oh. We have wow. storms that are starting up and the same origin pretty much as they were previously for instance this one here the tornado warning nearing the canton area right now there's a cell back out to the west of it that's fired up just as the other one did that had the tornado warning on it. so we're seeing the we history see definitely the history and we are starting yeah starting to see that out by the labelle area another area that's got that rotation almost the same location as the one just before it you can see how this is the one we have the warning on right through here, just to the uh, west of Canton right now. Tornado warning for you until about 745. And then back out to the west, we have that additional severe thunderstorm warning that has the potential, certainly, of being upgraded to a tornado warning. We're going to continue to track that for you as it moves off to the east here, both of these cells. And another thing, too, flash flooding a concern because these storms just kind of continue to fire up one after another. And you can see the entire tri-state, the entire viewing area is under so flash once I'm going up to how is everyone flash flood warnings is coming later Chelsea and also keep in mind even when the risk for that severe weather expires and our tornado watches are going until 11 o'clock this flash flood watch continues until 7 a.m. so our risk for heavy rain doesn't end when the risk for that severe weather um, ends as well so just keep that in mind if you approach a flooded area turn around find an alternate route it does not take a lot of water to wash a vehicle out I, a lot of people were asking on Facebook Live about uh, Quincy if it was under a threat of a tornado right now. While Quincy is under the tornado watch, we could see some storms push into Quincy later on out to the Boys. west. Look at that. More out to the west starting to fire out, and those extend farther to the south. So we'll continue to track those. But right now, for right now, that storm that's producing a possible tornado in Lewis County is going, looks like it's going to move just to the north of Quincy. If we could, we could take a look. We're going to take a look at this 3D slice here to show you first right. how tall some of these You can see the individual cells, how yeah. big they are, too. And you, yeah, you can see the, the ones, the, the core Thank of these you, though, guys. We have some large hill cores, by the way. Um, that these, one yeah, near these, Lewis Town. Mm -hmm. These get up very high, about 60,000 feet in altitude. That's about that's about as severe as you can get with some storms, you know, when you're talking and getting heights of that. As long as they don't right <coughs> say there's a tornado on the ground, right now, so I'll the be fine. Stronger they are. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So uh, we are seeing some tall storms right now out there. Uh, the one I was telling you about, Lewis County, looks like it's going to move just to the north of Quincy. But if we take a look at our Quincy Tower Cam, there we go. Control room's got us right up, up, up there. You can see 
when, it light, when there's some lightning behind the bridge here, look at that. You can see just how tall these clouds are rising out in Lewis County all the way from Quincy. And yeah, look at that. Just took our Quincy Tower Cam looking out to the west and to the northwest. We're seeing very severe storms right now across Lewis County, possibly producing tornadoes. Quincy not in the path right now. Quincy is in the clear for now. That may change later on, though. But around Canton, that's definitely where we want to be uh, taking shelter. You should already be in your basement if you're not already or in some type of substantial shelter. Um, if you've been outdoors, a lot of these, uh, <laughs> uh, Friday night football games underway or they were supposed I, to I want to hear now in delays across the tri-states as we see these storms firing up and continuing to push through the area. We have that tornado watch uh, that uh, lasts until 11 p.m. So some warnings here for uh, some, oh, what's some going tips, on, rather, under, if you're under these tornado warnings, or really if you're under any of the warnings, I would be following these tips because uh, there are we are seeing rotation on several of the storms. You want to get to your basement. If you don't have a basement, get to an interior room, you know, get into a closet, something like that. Stay away from windows. If you're in a car, if you're listening on the radio right now, you need to be getting out of that car and into some shelter. As soon as you can Sirens find it, going you can't off get again. into an indoor shelter, or you go to a ditch or a ravine and cover your head, that's the best advice we have for you if you are caught outdoors and you do not have substantial, substantial shelter to get to right now. So these tips, I would be doing all of them right now, following them if you're in the Canton area right now, because uh, we are seeing the uh, these storms continue to push into the uh, Canton area. Chelsea? Also, we've had some people asking, did any, anything touch down? And at the time, we have no reports of it actually being on the ground. This has all been radar indicated. We have had reports, though, of funnel clouds, but not actually touching the ground. No, no confirmed reports. But again, when we see that rotation, when we're getting in reports of funnel clouds, well, there's nothing touching the ground. Tornado warnings are being as soon as they say they see one on the ground, I'm gone. And currently, right now, it looks like this tornado warning continues to shrink. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, be careful, Pixie. Right now, moving over Canton. Right now, yeah, we're seeing that push into the Canton area right now, and uh, we're gonna take. Here we go. Look at that. That is still holding together, even as it's been several minutes now and it's moved several miles, we're still seeing that rotation inward Shit. as in flowing towards St. Louis radar site and then away from St. Louis site on the velocity. And that's where we're seeing that possible rotation. It looks as though it may be going just on the north side of uh, Canton. Chelsea, would you agree with that? We've seen I would that agree, rotation. but if you're but still if you're in, in Canton, if you're in I Canton, would still yeah. say yeah. you still need to be seeking shelter. Yeah, definitely want to be in shelter because this is just, we're just kind of approximating where it may be, but it looks like the rotation center is just slightly north of Canton, and it's continued to push trekked off to the east here around 30 miles per hour earlier just a few minutes ago at 7 15 uh, we did have a report from emergency management in lewis county they were reporting a rotating funnel cloud meaning that was spinning rotating above the ground not touching the not touching the ground so it was kind of extended tornado but still that's uh, pretty darn close to a tornado in uh, what we were seeing early around 7 15 just that report uh, just to three miles north morning just lewis got extended county. here's a look at the hail cores right now we're seeing some large hail about one and a half half inch in diameter or so according to radar estimates uh, in central north central Lewis County also back into Knox County getting to East Knox County and then also farther up to the north up around the Keokuk area we've been seeing some uh, if we kind of pan the radar up to that uh, area a little bit up around Keokuk you can see where we've seen some hail course kind of breaking up a bit there but still seeing some possible uh, very a uh, very large hill near the Keokuk area, and then also uh, pushing, just crossing the Hancock County border into uh, McDonough County right now. We're seeing that uh, just to the north and to the west of, of Macomb. So about four areas where we have and some large hill still going right off. Now. And it looks, well, like, it looks like they we've extended been, they redid it. I think it's for the the the, tor the storm that is to the west. There's two now. Yeah, there's yeah. that. It looks like we have one. Yeah, that, well, that one's been so extended. Let's get that there we go. I'll print oh, that's what we need. Yeah, so we, another storm coming this way. Okay, emergency management director uh, David effect. Keith is on the phone with us now at Lewis County. Uh, David, what are you seeing out there? Where are you located? What do you have for us right now? Uh, uh, right now, I'm at Lewis Town, Missouri, at section 16, and the weather service just put out another tornado warning. Right. Yeah. Exactly one in the last <laughs> half hour. Oh. Five minutes. Pull over if you have to, Pixie. Uh, they have a strong thunderstorm with supercell. With a wedge in it, south and west of Lewis Town, and they put a tornado on it. But uh, just getting a little light, light rain right now. They had a little hail in the bell earlier, but uh, we're keeping an eye on the second storm. 
Okay, what, what advice do you have for people right now that are in Lewis County that are under this warning uh, that has just popped up? Okay. People I don't like the look of that second storm. Area, they need to seek shelter is what they need to do. Yeah, definitely. Like so, some sh definitely yeah, seek, yeah, 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 seek some, shelter. yeah, substantial yeah, shelter right now. And like we were saying, my earlier, town right some there. people maybe are out in their vehicles, uh, driving. If you're listening to us on the radio right now, you want to yes. be getting out of that car, trying to find some substantial shelter uh, right away, yes. or also into a ravine or some kind of ditch or something like that, and cover your head if you're if you're caught out there. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to uh, continue to watch this storm, Chelsea. Can we get some more information on that? Uh, that warning. It looked like if we go back to radar, it was extending into. It's, it now it extends um, into from. Yeah, it goes from Knox. So Knox County is now included back in this tornado warning. We have Lewis and Adams County. So this storm was located over Lewistown. So again, it's the cell that is now um, that we've been tracking, tracking through Knox County. So this isn't the initial storm that we were just looking at in Canton. So um, the additional cell that's moving on through. So the threat is a possible tornado, um, half dollar size hail. We see that hail core with the purples. This has been radar indicated, but we are getting reports from Lewis County Emergency Management saying that they do see a funnel cloud between LaBelle and Newark. So, um, so that would be right in this area. So again, so as you just heard, if you're within this red polygon, we have two right there. Even in the orange polygons, since your severe thunderstorm warnings, you still need to be hunkering down and taking shelter at this moment. So other areas that are in the path would be Monticello, um, Meyer, Ursa, and L uh, Lima as well. So again, let's put a loop on it just to show the direction of these Thank storms you guys with it. off to the east. And again, this is just Sorry, we had to cut the gameplay. Minden. So if you're in northwest Adams County, that includes we'll go back, though. Uh, Minden. And also, um, this does include LaGrange as well. I know we've had a few questions of whether or not LaGrange is, uh, has the potential of seeing some storms, possibly tornadic. Well, you are under this new severe thunderstorm storm warning so we're gonna put a track I let's do two tracks I think where we have two areas of rotation so okay. let's do the one that's the new one so, yeah, a little so th bit back. this is the new one so this is the one uh, that goes until 8 15 Chelsea's gonna track it out so it's moving to east at 40 it's for this rotation back out to the west but remember we were telling you there were the two rotations uh, areas of rotation and we figured I was pretty sure that we were gonna get another one on that one on the back end because mm -hmm. that was also showing rotation almost following the same path maybe slightly to the south of the first one. So look out around Ewing, 747, LaGrange, 804 for this potential tornado, 814 for Ursa, Ellington around 818, Gilmer, Gilmer around 826, Columbus, 822. It's better not me typing and driving. Point. Your ass. 837 and if this holds together like, as it moves out to it the It looks uh, like our east. Quincy Tower Cam is pointed towards that storm we're talking about. And we can see if when the lightning lights up, it's just showing how how ominous this storm looks. And yeah, it does have the potential of a storm, uh, of a tornado. So I'm gonna get another track on for that one that's headed towards Canton. But I just wanted to show you the Quincy Tower Camp yeah. of just all the lightnings happening within this storm. And that's when we can really get a visual of what the storm really looks like. Right, yeah, and, and our- Quincy Let's go outside and catch us a tornado. How about that, boy? That'll be some content. Not threatened by the storm at this time. We can see kind of off to the north and to the east across the river that supercell torn the supercell thunderstorm. That's the Mississippi that River right there. According to our radar, the biggest river in the U.S. With this again, tornado warning: northwestern Adams County, east central Knox County, and Lewis County in northeast Missouri. This goes until about a quarter after eight, eight fifteen at seven thirty seven thirty four. We were seeing that tornado located near late. Lewistown. We've been seeing reports of rotation earlier. We had some rotation near uh, Lewis. Town, according to emergency management, was seeing that, and then we're also uh, seeing that right now on radar. And tornado and half dollar size hail. The concerns with this. You're doing and some and dudes. Canton, I mean, around 805 right now, and also Monticello, Meyer, Ursa, and Lima. Some of the other areas we're concerned about for this rotation. As we take a look at the track right now, again, was this the is this the updated? This is the second, this is the, the, one the, the for first Canton, one, the, yes. the original one, the original rotation. So Menden, some rotation near your air. Marceline, 752, some rotation near you. 
you then around 759 near Minden, Keene 804 around getting into the uh, Sh Chi Lai area around 811, still Golden, 820, yeah. Clayton 826, and Pea Ridge around 834 as this rotation, if it holds together, which actually it has been holding together. You can see right now that first area rotation is crossing the Mississippi River right now between extreme northwest Adams County and eastern uh, Lewis County right there to the north of Canton. And then we have this Not rotation, clickbait. another tornado Gone back sexual. out to the west. That's the one that lasts until 815, and that continues to move off to the east at 40 miles per hour. So we're seeing this is the first area of rotation. We're seeing some pretty strong rotation to the north of Canton, but then also back out to the west also that looks a little more disorganized but we're still seeing it nonetheless just out to the uh, west of monticello so a lot I mean, yeah you know we'll put it on youtube just check that out that's yeah, the that's second that's storm yeah. the hill you know, that's there. scaring me yeah, more than anything some very right now. large hill with this and uh, really, uh, one thing I just want to point out too is that we are seeing several areas of rotation. There is a lot I of think rotation that storm is about to fuck right me up. with these storms. So it is hard to just say exactly this is where this first one I think is barely going north of it. We're seeing several areas of rotation. Even in this area here, we have about two tornado warning polygons almost over the same area as these storms continue to track off to the east. So we're seeing this more in a linear line fashion. These storms firing up and lots of lightning with them we've been seeing as well and so really if you're anywhere in lewis county right now i would be in my basement also and getting into northwest adams county you need to be getting into shelter right now I'm in my basement and everything right now is staying north of quincy of course right there's quincy right there we're staying everything's north of quincy and um. you know, if we put the loop on everyone can kind of see over the past few minutes how all these storms have been going pretty much just to the north and to the northeast so not impacting quincy although we're getting a pretty decent light show from Quincy right now, moving off, looking off to the north and to the east. And I want to keep in mind, again, Adina, you're now seeing another break from these storms, but look off west, a line of severe thunderstorm warnings being Aww, issued. Oh, there's Richmond. Additional storms being fired up, and that is Aww. tracking to the east. Once yeah, Pixie's again, got some shit going on right now. So, um, a dino while uh, you've had a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings, and so that is now. Um, it looks like actually the the tornado warning that Dixie, was uh, be careful too. into Knox County that has been shaved off mm -hmm. just for Lewis and Knox County. I wanted to give that update, but again, while it may not be over you at the moment, does not mean you're not under the gun right. for more strong storms later this evening. Absolutely, and if we kind of expand this out again to the wider entire viewing area view right now, we can see that we have a this line of storms, and it's just ran into this worried. explosive I'll be fine, maybe. this atmosphere. Right right now so we're just seeing these storms fire up and uh, we again as chelsea said are not done yet we have a tornado <laughs> watch that continues until 11 p.m this evening That's sea Richmond. and if we look out to the Normal. west around kansas city and into northwest missouri several more storms firing up and each one of them are severe right now so we are seeing those severe thunderstorm warnings for each of those cells out to the west but again right here in the heart of the tri-states that's where we have a tornado warning right now for lewis to get on your laptop is crossing the river right now into adams county but staying north of Quincy. Quincy not under the gun right now. You can see every, all the warnings are to the north of Quincy and these storms continue to push to the east as of right now, just staying east, moving to the east and also to the north of Quincy and they're pretty much just moving straight to the east so I'm not seeing a turn to the south right now but again we're going to keep tracking these for you as they push off to the uh, east now as we take a look second right storm is what's scaring me right wow, now look at look at all those tower camps right there and look at the macomb right now macomb is shaking we are getting some strong winds right now in the macomb area our macomb tower camp shaking there and uh yeah looking at our um well, our, pull over if you have to so we're gonna go around the corner so i can tell each one so top left is quincy looks like top right is keokuk mm -hmm. bottom left is macomb and then bottom right is hannibal so hannibal not seeing anything right now not rain, but you can see the lightning still yeah. off in the distance on, on hannibal yeah just like our quincy camera not seeing any no joke. rain here in quincy right now but definitely we have a good vantage point looking across the river as that uh, cell is now crossing the river from Lewis County into pushing into the Adams County area, Northwest Adams County under a tornado warning right now. And that continues until 8.15 p.m. So uh, yeah, look at that, that is a, um that is a sight right now. All of our tower cams there. We're seeing, I just uh, fill up my gas right tank. I don't have to use States it all to come and, see you uh, in the yeah, hospital again, tomorrow. Back to radar. Let's go over this warning one more time. This one that's going from 
Lewis County into Adams County right now. This is until 8.15. Yeah, like that pink we is coming right for me. We have the potential of a tornado with this storm, and also we have the potential of half-dollar size hail. So just very large hail, and of course, strong winds possible, too. We saw our Macomb Tower Cam. We have a severe thunderstorm from the Macomb area right now, so some strong winds up around Macomb. But here is where we're concerned about a possible tornado. So uh, look out around Canton and LaGrange around 8.05 for a possible tornado heading your way from this cell uh, and it right. has some strong rotation on it and we've seen a history of strong rotation what I wanted to hear. on radar and then also we've had a history of this rotation being able to last for several miles we've been we watched this first area of rotation as it pushed across Lewis County, mm -hmm. and it held together the whole time, Chelsea. Uh, yeah, and the National Weather Service is getting some more information on what they're seeing with this storm as well, of why they're continuing or have expanded that tornado warning. They said the current warning in Lewis County um, continues. There's no change at this point as the cell continues to exhibit rotation near Lewistown. That's where we're seeing it. Uh, large hail is likely falling near or just south or just north of Lewistown near New Court Village. And you can see that bright purple. That's where that hail core is where that large hail is most likely falling. You have Monticello, you have Canton. It's been hitting your mic. Probably professional. within the next 10 minutes. So if you are in Monticello or in Canton, and again, this came in actually at 741. So you have even less time as the storm gets closer to Monticello in Canton. So if you got out of your safe location or got out of your tornado safe room, All right, boys. Back there, um, you got about 10 minutes. As this storm continues <laughs> to approach those areas. They also say it will likely skirt the northern sections of Adams County as it nears the Mississippi mm -hmm. River, Lima, Illinois, will be near the path. Right, and yeah, like you said, Chelsea, um, if you thought maybe you were in the clear after that first cell went through in Canton, you want to get back. You've never been out of the tornado warned area. We're looking right now at correlation coefficient. So uh, right now, when we see uh, high levels of core, like uh, at these, the moment, community, orchards, this is okay for now. Mm -hmm. It's when we see the darker colors when the correlation. Ask me again in about lower, ten minutes. <laughs> that means that things aren't correlating. And Meaning that's things what the aren't. National Weather Service said that the correlation coefficient efficient they were seeing that um that indications that pretty large hail is likely falling. So this is just another tool <coughs> that we use to so, indicate that. And we can use this to, and zip. to see if things look different, meaning that if it's seeing everything looks about the same, meaning that rain, might be seeing different things. My stream, Lily. It may be seeing hail and some heavy rain, or in some extreme cases, not what we're seeing right now. But yeah, debris I mean, it's coming right for me, community. Right now, but that's what correlation coefficient is used for. And uh, looking at radar right now, again, going to be here in a few scene, minutes. The reflectivity, this means what the radar is beaming back as far as what's in the air hail rain if we put on that uh, the uh, the uh, rainfall rate the precipitation rate that kind of gives you an idea too of how heavy this rain is uh, it's just going to be a torrential rain 10 inches per hour right now uh, not and really kind of moment of rain if, fall right now near the monticello area where we're if they say they see a tornado on the, on the ground the i am going to leave so, just torrential rain happening. Maybe right go now. to the uh, grocery Canada. store or something. That rotation still holding together. And uh, again, that's our main area right now from tornado warning for Lewis County, northern Lewis County, very much the northern two thirds of Lewis County, and now pushing into extreme northwest Adams County. Again, everything's staying north of Quincy for now, but then there's a lot more back out to the west. We still have to get to it, stretches a little farther to the south, and all that continues to work its way to the east as well. So we're going to have uh, probably a long evening ahead of us still of more warnings popping up. And, um, and several of those laying right over beside me, William. I'll take and them. Kind of to piggyback off of that, the reason why we're going to continue to see these storms continue to fire off kind of in the same area because that's where we had the most energy available for these storms to really work off of and really grow in intensity. And that's what we're seeing off to the west of more strong storms headed to Towards the tri states, and again, Sirens that's going off also again. within that area where we're seeing that tornado warning. We talk about shear, and that's the difference in the direction or the speed and wind direction or in the winds as you go up in height in the atmosphere. So, when we start to see them become stronger or we have a big shear, <clears> that's when the storms start to rotate, and that's how are you, right now. 
in Lewis County. Everyone, thanks for sticking with me. Get back to uh, some gameplay into, here shortly. Um, Adams County wouldn't be surprised if the most northern sections of this storm even stretch into Hancock County. You just need to keep a close eye on it. Right, because it looks like right now that polygon kind of just cuts down away from Hancock County. Hancock County not in a tornado warning right now. Keep in mind right that's now. a different National Weather Service office yeah. that is covering. That's why so, yeah, you don't Hancock see it stretching County into Hancock County. would be Hancock. a different one. So this is St. Louis issuing this uh, this warning right now, this polygon from Lewis County yeah, into I mean, the I appreciate that. Adams, 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 at the moment, I'm okay. But Chelsea, for a second, let's look at all the warnings we have It's about right to now. go down here in just kind of roughly 10 minutes. If you're just joining us, wondering what's going on, we're on the air right now because there is a tornado warning for Lewis and Adams County right now, extreme northwest Adams County. Quincy, you are not under the gun for this right now. This is all north of you right now, but you're probably seeing a lot of lightning from Quincy, but things are still dry. Pixie is also driving through a really bad so storm right now. tornado warning right now. It lasted till And eight, I'm pretty uh, sure she can hear me. PM. If you Again, need to pull over, Adams fucking and pull and over, Adams please. And, uh, getting it back into Lewis County as well. Then we have a severe thunderstorm warning up to the north for Hancock and McDonough County right now around the Macomb area. We're watching out for some large hail and strong winds golf up around the Macomb area. Hail is up what they're estimating. Possible golf ball size hail, yes, up around the Macomb area. Earlier we saw on the Macomb tower cam, it was shaking around out there. There were some pretty gusty winds rolling into the Macomb area. And uh, again, these, this yellow area here, that's where we had that tornado watch lasting until 11 p.m. and then severe thunderstorm watch out to the uh, west and that pink shading. Um, so that's what we're seeing right now, kind of a, a broad view across two the tri states of those uh, warnings. Everything north of Quincy for now, though. And uh, we go back to radar here. We can see that oh cell my. as it continues Leave to press off to the east here, about 30 miles per hour from Canton. Uh, right now approaching Canton. So if you're in the Canton area, you need to be in your basements. Let's put up, uh, if we could, uh, the tornado warning tips again because uh, maybe a good idea to go through some of these again if you're in the Canton area wondering what you need to be doing right now. Well, we have those tips for you right now. Tornado warning, you want to get to your basement right now. And if you don't have a basement, an interior room, so a closet at some place like that. Um, get away from windows. You don't want to be in a mobile home either. You want to be getting out. If you're in a mobile home, you need to be finding um, some more substantial, sturdy shelter. Stay away from windows. If you're in your vehicle, your car, get to a building, some kind of sturdy building with a basement or an interior room. And if you can't get to an indoor shelter, maybe you're driving down the road right now listening to this on the radio and there's no place around to get to, your yeah, best bet is to get into a ditch or a ravine and cover your head because uh, that's uh, really the best bet you have if you're out and you do not see it's any shelter to now. get around right now. And again, this, these tips are for Lewis County right now. You're under that tornado warning and also extreme northwest Adams County. That tornado warning continues until 8.15. We're going to send things over to Dylan right now. And, and the other factor in all of this tonight, if you want to call it that, is that so many people out there may not be in their home county right now. They're probably not able to watch TV if they're out at a high school football game. It's also Friday night, so you can find us on many different platforms, especially you know somebody out there in the line of these storms. You need to let them know. Of course, we're always on WGEM uh, TV in these situations, but also WGEM News Talk 105. You can get us on your dial and on the app on your mobile devices, Facebook Live. Get that right on your cell phone as well. And uh, of course, WGEM.com and the WGEM app. So many people out there uh, coming home soon from football games games and again uh, Knox County football had a game canceled about an hour ago we just learned Macomb postponing until tomorrow raining so now only guys the stream suddenly dies that means my powers went out a lot of people I'll, uh, hop out and chat right on my phone drive let everyone know from these games that have been postponed and and driving into weather they may not know is happening on their route home sometimes you drive an hour to a football game or whatnot so I guess if you're listening at home it's a storm you're quit listening it and know somebody out there that may be in this situation Good idea uh, to, to let them know. Jeremy, Chelsea, back to you. Yeah, Dylan, that's right, because I'm glad to hear, though, that some of these games are being delayed until tomorrow, because tonight really does not seem like a good night to be out uh, outdoors and any kind of outdoor activity, football games uh, happening, and a I mean, good thing these are being canceled. But, you know, the one thing, though, is you want to make sure uh, that if you are heading away from these events, that you uh, know what's in your path, know where you're located, know where these warnings are right now. So we 
do no. have that tornado warning continuing for Lewis County. I've been um, following Facebook Live because we've been getting some questions, and one of the one of the questions I was seeing a lot of earlier is Quincy going to get hit? No, everything is staying north of Quincy for now, but Quincy is under that tornado watch until 11 p.m. Here are some of the areas yeah, to look out on, for right now, and some of the estimated times of oh, arrival right. for this it's, possible uh, tornado uh, school. Bland School around making sure I don't need to run away. 758 at 756 right now. Chelsea, um, you had something new, and then we'll get back to reading the yeah, rest of these. Yeah, off. I do. I'm sorry. I just wanted to pass along that there has been a, a, a train spotter reported a funnel cloud. Mm. Um, again, that was near or west of Canton. So, uh, again, there has been reports of funnel clouds as it's moving, is moving through Canton or just west of Canton at this time. Right. Yeah, so we're seeing that near the Canton area right now. Yeah, Shaw's, I'm under rotation. a tornado so, warning right now. Uh, we kind of zoom in and take a look. Can we do that track again, yep. Chelsea? I wanted to read off the rest, get, make sure we're reading off all those locations on that track. So moving to the east at 40 right now. Meyer, yeah, like, 756, Golden School, 807, Lima, 807. There's no, like, tornadoes reported on the ground. Minden, 814. Moment. Again, this is for a possible tornado. Golden, 835. Uh, Central High School, 838. I am under a warning at the moment. Yeah. And Camden, if this all holds together, around 8. We're going to go back to Mario Kart so here in a few. Uh, some of these areas not actually under the warning right now, but this is what our tracker is showing. If these storms hold together, uh, these are the locations here that will be. No, Nido, nothing significant. Times for this it's location in hitting Lewis my town County right now. It's and raining pretty good. To the east at around 40 miles per hour. And again, still if under a tornado warning. warning. The siren's right going now, off again. Look at that. We can see that we uh, have several areas. Again, there's that. All these areas in yellow. That means be on the watch for tornadoes through 11 p.m. Areas in red right now. You want to be in a basement right now. So that's Lewis County around the Canton area now cross over into northwest extreme northwest Adams County again this does not include Quincy north of Quincy right now and then also up toward the Macomb area a severe thunderstorm warning for you and also into pretty much e all of eastern McDonough County just ex maybe not the very ex southern tip of McDonough County but still you are under that severe thunderstorm warning for some large hail as long as we can make it through about the next 10 15 minutes I should be good gusty winds right now and so that's what we're seeing right now as far well, as where are you at lag like? Warnings across the tri-states, watches and warnings. Do you live in the area? To radar, Chelsea, if you want to uh, kind of show us what you're seeing there on the radar scope. Yeah, so something else I want to show um, along with the warnings that Jeremy just passed along with you uh, to you. We have a lot of light. I mean, I don't really have a basement storms, or anywhere so to go. Outside, that's kind of why I'm still here like a dumbass. In Scotland, Clark, Lee County, once again, uh, more storms rolling into your area at the time. Those storms are not severe, but you can just see how much lightning is with us. And Jeremy, I'm going to query this and just show you, show everybody how much lightning on average that we're seeing. Oh, wow. So um, the number of strikes over th 300 um, lightning strikes is what we're seeing. But um, also, I'm going to turn off this lightning layer. Let's loop this because I am um, want to look at the storms to the west of our area. They, they continue to get closer and closer yeah. to us. Yeah, so we'll see. So a so town, we my town had a tornado. Um, uh, storms in the back when I was a teenager, and I mean, it destroyed a lot of shit. Knox County, possibly even um, Scotland County. So, my town's a little jumpy when it comes to tornadoes, anyway. Because we continue to have the potential of these storms starting to rotate, possibly some tornadoes, additional tornado warnings. But right now, we only have that one tornado warning. We even see that hail core kind of pick back up a second ago, it was a little bit around um, 755 had weakened, but again, we're seeing these storms continue to fluctuate usual. in intensity yeah, I mean, and pick back up. So we at least I get a few a year. Uh, Canton Tower Cam is probably getting a lot of rain, possibly a lot of lightning at this moment. Um, but Jeremy, I'm going to switch over to the hail, and if you want to take that over, I'll start mm -hmm. showing the areas. That's what we're seeing. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So let's look at these hail, these hail cores right now, and this is where we are seeing about almost two inch in diameter. I mean, we haven't right had an actual Central tornado Lewis since County, I was a teenager. Lewis town right now there, and we kind of maybe we can kind of zoom in a little bit on this hail core and show some of those locations that are um, in that uh, middle of that hail core. So Canton right out of the hail core, but Monticello. 
you are seeing some extremely large hail near you right now, according to radar. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And, uh, we're seeing that along 16, and that's just to the north and to the east immediately of Lewistown right now. So Monticello, well, if you are worried about uh, targeting right people, now, Schwaz. You've probably seen that hail coming down right now, and very large hail at that, as long with some torrential rain. This isn't just the hail coming down and then some rain for a while. This is some torrential, continuous rain, along with continuous cloud-to-ground lightning, and all also some very large hailstones right now uh, being reported in uh, central Lewis County along with that the potential rotation from this tornado uh, warned storm that's in the middle of Lewis County right now. So we're watching for this, this hail core. Uh, Chelsea, if we kind of move this, if we expand the view out a little bit and then show the uh, hail uh, its movement towards Canton, I'm curious if that is on a, a path, that core, that hail core, it looks like Probably it may right be on. just Excuse slightly me. to the south of, uh, maybe slightly to the south of Montezuma. That's Elizabeth about to uh, get mad here. To the east of it now on that latest scope, Chelsea. And and it's scope. hailing and now. I can hear it. Is saying that they're possibly going to extend that tornado warning into northwest Adams County. So um, we see that stretching into Minden, but just keep in mind this tornado warning may be even extended and even stretched farther um, to the um, across the northern sections. Pixie, let me know when you make so it home, please. Uh, just keep that in mind. If you're in Minden or if you're farther to the east, uh, you need to be paying attention. So I'll zoom on out. Let's put a track on this, and I'll get that for you. Yeah, can we take a, we have a photo. The control room is letting me know we have a photo of a viewer photo taken in Lewistown a few moments ago. And if we take a look at, yeah, we can see this. It looks like there I'm was some. It's, it's kind of hard to tell here in these photos what we are seeing. Uh, it could be some very heavy rain, or it could also maybe be some uh, rotation toward the. Uh, uh, towards the I don't know, right now. Scud kind of coming down too from some of these clouds. Usually, what we see hanging from these. Uh, uh, severe thunderstorms uh, and people sometimes can mistake that for some funnel clouds as well so uh, yeah that's kind of what what the view is like out there this was a few minutes looks like about 39 minutes ago that was coming in from a viewer and uh, yeah and one, one thing though about these photos is we we always appreciate getting the photos done but we never want you to be you know putting yourself in any kind of danger to get us these photos and uh, really as you can see from this foot well what you can't really see from this photo is that things uh, are so dark out there that and everything's rain wrapped, so you wouldn't be able to see. Yeah, uh, it's starting to hail here. I can, out there regardless, yeah, so you want to make sure it. you're not. Uh, yeah, and speaking of speaking of rain wrap, this is our Canton Tower cam right There's now. There's my town the right there. This is getting pelted with some rain right now. Looking over the Culver Stockton College campus, and pretty much continuous lightning happening right now in the Canton area. We're seeing. It looks like also there's uh, probably some wind as well. We're seeing this that continuous lightning currently and some very heavy rain moving into the Canton area along with that rotation Chelsea's got a track on this for us right now 814 at Ursa Menden 821 Keene 827 as this continues off to the east Coatesburg 832 Camp Point around 838 Clayton 847 and then uh, pushing into Lee around 856 Chelsea did you have something for us yeah, we're getting some more reports coming in from um, law enforcement saying um, that an officer is reporting actually just a few minutes ago that there was dime size and then about two minutes later they were saying now it's quarter size. Mm -hmm. So it picked up pretty quickly as it moved into the Canton area. So um, whether or not the tornado, um, we've had reports of funnel clouds, uh, whether or not it's on the ground, there's still a lot of other threats that are outside no, to the camera. Storm and why we need you to take it seriously. Right, and, and like Shouldn't. you were saying there with that hail intensity changing, we were just talking a few minutes ago about how these have been almost kind of pulsating yeah. in how they you know, lose some energy and then they get some energy back and they lose some more energy and that's kind of been what we've been seeing and they've actually been able to maintain their health pretty much as they've continued off to the east. We, uh, we've seen them, we've seen that rotation. If, if Chelsea, if we could flip over to maybe show the velocity scope in there and maybe even kind of show the trend over the, the past few minutes here of that rotation. Graves, the, the wife and like dog right in there. That rotation right over the Canton area. And it, and it almost looks like it's tightening back up maybe towards that last frame as it heads over the river. It looks like it was a little bit broad there for a little bit. And now it's getting a little bit more wrapped up right there just to the north of Canton. And then, yeah, yeah I mean, once this areas, storm passes over, mate. Concerned about with that. Uh, that's why they're down here. And they're probably yeah, thinking about extending that 
over into Northwest. Well, it's already in effect for Northwest Adams County, but actually extending time and pulling the area. But whatever storm you had, it's probably heading my way, Pixie. Adams County, Northern Adams County right now. But that's what we're seeing. Velocity inbound and outbound. Oh, grab the wife. It's flowing the towards St. Louis. And those reds that we just saw a minute ago meant that it was there flowing away outbound. So it's Watch those laying in the window, so. So, watching. Um, so let's switch back over to I got him right here if I need to see run. A lot of lightning again, um, heavy rainfall. And I just want to put this in a loop. I'm going to take off our lightning real quick. But let's do a loop for the last about three hours, possibly. You can see the storms continuing mainly, stretching a little bit, extending a little farther to the south as we go into the next couple of hours. But we have more storms on the way that are searching back to the north. and with these storms yeah. continuing just to dump a lot of Keep rain your own on fucking top storms, of the rain Pixie. that we I don't saw this morning, in which some areas did experience some heavy rainfall. A oh, well, I'm in the current. Um, some extra moisture in there or getting more water, and it's that's what it's going to cause those flash flooding. And, and then, Jared, me, if I'm right, some of those rivers um, uh, a little bit farther on, on the Mississippi already are, have reached that minor stage. Yeah. So... We could see some of those, definitely the smaller creeks right. and rivers getting out of the banks. Yeah, definitely. We've been seeing the river come up a bit. And we, yeah, that's one thing we've been watching are those river flood warnings. And uh, speaking of flooding, uh, the potential I think I'm gonna be flash fine for flooding now. heading into the overnight hours. We do have flash flood watches. I can see this passing over area. Right. And when we see these storms, the tornado yeah, warning expires in eight minutes. Because you can see we had that first storm and then one form right behind it. So it just kind of trained over the same area. And there is still more to come. We have this cell, this area right now, but then look right out to the northwest. More redevelopment. More I think back I'm going to be good. It is raining really good Missouri. right now. And this is all going to continue to push into uh, the tri-states area as we head into the next uh, several hours for the evening and even to the overnight hours. And right now, look at this. Yeah, what's uh, going on, Ryan? Uh, radar estimates. This is, says last 12 hours, but this is yeah, actually what's falling yeah, here in just the past few minutes or so because this is all the rain we've picked up over the 12-hour period. Or almost five inches of rain, 4.8. Tornado warning just got extended. <laughs> just to the north of Keokuk right now. So uh, almost five inches of rain in just a very short short amount of time so flash flooding is definitely yeah ryan lives in keokuk right there, there especially those low line areas those creeks and streams things like that those can definitely get out of their banks in a hurry with this heavy rain occurring and yet flash flood uh, watches until 7 a.m tomorrow morning because we will see these storms right. continue for several hours through the uh through the overnight hours an update. there we go and looks like we have that uh, tornado warning continued pulled into all of northern Adams County right now. So Canton, you're under a tornado warning. LaGrange, Lima, Minden, Keene, Camp Point, Golden, all these areas, okay. this area is shaded in Never mind, I don't northern think it got Adams extended County. for me. You want to be oh, Taliana, how's it going? Right now. This goes until 9 p.m. right now. This new tornado warning extended right now. It's 8.08, so we're going to continue to stay on the air with you and track these storms. Yeah, I mean, there's the no the tornado rain. warnings in Keokuk, Ryan. It's mostly just thunderstorms for Keokuk. So our, look at our radar right now. And, I mean, yeah, uh, I might. Can, uh, put a, maybe a track on that uh, X, new tornado right. warning that's been issued for this rotation that's centered now, it pushing across the river, and it's still holding together. We were looking at the health of it, how it managed to hold together, and it's managed to pretty, pretty much pretty hold its own. There. Over the last several minutes, pushing through northeast Missouri, now crossing the river into Illinois. So 8.30, this is for a tornado warning. Oh, you hear now. sirens, you got to go. My That's sirens have been going off every... 8.13, Minden, Ooh, it's Keen at 8.19, uh, Camp Point 8.33, around the Clayton area at 8.43, P Ridge 8.49, Camden 8.55. Uh, pushing into Buena Vista around 8, 9, 07. And that's what we're watching right now. Just that uh, kind of narrow has been going off of here for a little while. Though, but it is uh, moving. I think I'm going to be safe, still though. holding its own as it pushes on off to the uh, to the east there across the park. There are some the funnel clouds, but nothing on the ground. Chelsea. I was also waiting to hear. This rotation um, is being indicated northeast of LaGrange, west of Ursa. So I'll I'll zoom in on that, but I just wanted to pass. I was waiting to hear if there's a tornado on the ground or not. That's why everything kind of stopped. And the reason we're watching the weather now to issue the the tornado warning so there's lagrange there's a lima you have canton as well you can now start to see canton your rain intensity is going to continue to decrease as this cell continues to move off to the east I think for the most but part again um, you'll and probably see activity pick up
up once again later this evening. Keep that in mind. So LaGrange, Lima, Minden, Camp Point, Golden. Um, uh, I've been under a tornado Lima warning. Lima is right now over you. Minden, you just have a few minutes um, to make sure you're ask. taking action. Golden and Camp Point, you need to be headed there as well. Uh, I think I'm going to be safe. To the west. And as we're seeing, um, it's passing over me right now. Move into some, um, less um, less energy, I guess, is mm -hmm. the best way to say it. So we may finally start to see this start to come down just a little bit, right. but there's yeah, I think I'm gonna be fine. this is going to hold together. So if you're in Schuyler and Brown County, mm -hmm. where you haven't really seen too many storms just yet this evening. This one's uh, still moving off to the east. Still yeah. moving off to the east and may be impacting parts of Schuyler and Brown County. Right, and and if you look, and so Canton's still under the tornado warning, so you still want to be in your basements officially. The warning's still continuing for you, but that will probably be shaved off here pretty soon. Then we'll just be dealing with northern Adams County for now as really just this, this it's concentrated area of rotation right now across northwest Adams stairs. County continues to push off to the uh, east. I don't have a cover under my Adams. Stairs. We're going to send things over to the anchor desk. Uh, Dylan Austin, what do you have for us right now, Dylan? Uh, yeah, Jeremy, right now, uh, as we uh, talked to her earlier, WGM's Kara Biernat has been up in the Macomb area tonight, scheduled to cover the home. I think I'm in the clear, game, guys. Now has been delayed till tomorrow because of the weather we're seeing. Uh, I do appreciate you guys sticking with me, though. South of the area right now, joining us on the phone. And Kara, I understand the weather conditions uh, out there on the road. Yeah, kind of crazy right for a minute. And also Let me uh, go take a piss. Yeah, hey, Dylan, I would say. Double check on something. And then we'll uh, jump into some more Mario Kart. Well, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that, man. Well, see, we had that tornado in 03 here in Canton. Destroyed a good chunk of the town. Oh, Canton's like very jumpy when it comes to tornadoes now. Give me just a second, I'll marry back. going out in this or trying to get past this. Everyone here, at least seven cars deep, I see hazard lights and are pulled over. So I advise not traveling. I'm pulled over here and I have probably done for, you know, 10 minutes or so. Yeah, Kara, we're seeing the radar uh, on the screen here in the Macomb area. You said, are you are you out on the four lane now just uh, south of Macomb? Have you made it that far out of town? Um, I would say I'm probably, yeah, I'm definitely out of town and I'm probably three miles um, here headed back to Quincy. Um, All right. It, it is definitely picked up here. Okay, and again, you said there is some traffic pulled over there because it's raining so hard. Visibility, basically, the, the issue uh, uh, among the, some, obviously, water on the pavement right now. Yeah, yeah, coming down hard. I mean, I immediately had to pull over just because I could not see anything. And then with the hail starting to come down, um, your best bet is to definitely pull over if you're headed over here and trying to travel um, maybe home from the game. All right, WGM's Kara Biernat, thanks so much. We will try to check back in with Kara here in a little bit, and, and that obviously a well-traveled area. So many uh, people out on the roads right now coming back from similar situations, high school football being uh, among them. So keep that in mind if you have to get out there and travel. Tornadoes obviously not the only concern tonight. Heavy rain, flash flooding, uh, among others, as we send things back to the WGM Storm Track Weather Center uh, with the latest. All right, so right now I have pulled up is the hail that's happening in McDonough County. On average, we're seeing about an inch that is occurring. It is a little bit um, larger as we go farther to the south, though. Check hey this out girl. here in Canton. Hey, We've had some pretty good reports of at least quarter size on, in kicks. Canton. And there's something you want, uh, we want to slice this storm, is that yeah, right? Yeah, because one thing about this, that large hail core just to the southwest of Lima right or now. Near Lima, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when we, we kind of see that in there. Uh, if, we, if we could do a slice on that and get the volumetric look at that, we can see what we're actually looking at up vertically. And look at this, these top, these storm I tops making well up to about 50, 60,000 feet in, in altitude. And, and that means and when we see that high, that means a, a strong indicator of a very strong thunderstorm, picks. of course, but then also a strong indicator of large hail. And we're definitely seeing that right now near Minden. Looks like we're this very, very uh, tall we storms have a right new now. Severe thunderstorm warning. A new severe thunderstorm that warning. That one is for mm -hmm. Knox County. For Knox County. Okay, and that would be back out to the west. And probably we're seeing the same redevelopment.